Hey, hey, look. If I hear just one more person talking about, oh, you should start running. It's such an affordable sport. All you need is a pair of shoes and you're out the door. Running, affordable. Now I know some of these are optional. Some of these things are nice to have, but you can't tell me running is as cheap as just finding shoes. Like, look at this, 260 pounds for your running shoes. Oh, and you then need a sports watch, a running watch. This is the Garmin 4Runner 265, 429 pounds. This here, this, uh, a heart rate monitor. Because obviously you just can't go running. You need to measure your proficiency. How good are you breathing? Heart rate. Are you improving? What zone are you in? There's all that kind of stuff to consider. So your heart rate monitor. And obviously you can't go around running in silence. There, headphones. These are waterproof, but they're also bone conducting and therefore you can hear all the things happening around you for safety, absolutely recommend it. And you can't just go out in your PE shorts. You need specific running ones. There, these here are the uh, Nike Sweat Phobia GTX 2000 X's. <laughs> no, but these are specifically engineered for running. The materials kind of cater for running. You've got pouches galore. Um, it's streamlined, the way it feels, the way it deals with sweat, all this kind of stuff. What are you talking about? You just need shoes. Oh, and then there, a running vest. This here is highly perforated, breathable, gets rid of sweat, deals with all of that. And the price for this one, well, trust me. And there's a lot more to this because we haven't even touched on nutrition and hydration. And then, no one prepares you for the amount of money you're gonna have to spend on pasta. Not only that, and this, this, well, not the basket, what's in the basket, right? You're gonna need gels, right? You have like the world's expensive ones, like these are super pricey, these ones, and then you've got these. These are gels that you're gonna need whilst you're on a run, especially if you're doing long runs or races. But running gets you dehydrated, so guess what? You're gonna need electrolytes. You're gonna need these things. When you're done with your run, the best way to recover is make sure you get yourself a good dose of protein. You're gonna need protein generally, but more so when you're running because you're gonna need to recover. No one has ever received a medal for running down their road in their neighborhood. For that, you need to sign up to some actual events. Let's just say, if you want medals, let's say one race event a month times 12, these will range from anywhere between 20 pounds where I live to maybe about 70. Let's take an average. Let's go with 40 pounds. Yeah, 40 pounds, 40 times 12. What I've just described assumes that your running event is local. You see, the one I'm doing next is Berlin Marathon. It's my first ever marathon. And through the kind people at Adidas and Believe in the Run, I'm not paying for anything. But if I was, Train ticket from my house to the airport. Airplane ticket to Germany. Germany to a hotel. Pay for the hotel. Food at the hotel. Food for the duration of the time that I'm in Germany. And then gotta get back. Please tell me again why you think running is cheap. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To avoid injury, you need to do some strength and conditioning. Which means either getting your own equipment don't do that or join a gym, which is probably more affordable. There you go, gym membership. They say the two things are inevitable in life, death and taxes. I may have made that up. I've heard a saying that goes to that effect. I'll add three. If you run, you're gonna get injured. That's just a fact, regardless of who you are. Look, I even saw that boy Elliot Kipchoge pull up at the Olympics and did not finish his run because that boy is injured. If he can get injured, bro, and says, you're gonna get injured. Therefore, physio, medications, treatments, massage gun, all this kind of, please don't tell me running is cheap. Oh my days, I haven't even touched on coaching. Right, if you're gonna get serious about your running, you're gonna wanna do one of these three things. Either you're gonna join a club that might have subscriptions or hire a running coach, that's a monthly or some sort of commitment or maybe get one of these apps. I use an app called Runner. 
that also has a monthly subscription. So let's take that into account. It's the only reason having a coach when I first started and this app, now that I'm sort of getting going, is the only reason I'm getting progressively better as a run. So yeah, you're going to need to consider that too. All right. So look, don't confuse my humorous delivery for a lack of seriousness. I'm dead serious. If you're going to get serious about actually running, getting better at running, you're going to have to plan about parting ways with your hard earned moolah. It's simple as that. You will lose money. Simple, simple. You're going to spend more than this running thing is actually going to give you. As a runner, that is not necessarily if you're going to be an influencer, if you're going to be on YouTube, that's a whole different story. Another video for another day. But yeah, if you want something that's not going to cost you, maybe try checkers or, or chess or sign. But even that probably has costs. Yeah, so thank you for checking this out. I'm just going to type away and pretend to be doing some hard work on this here laptop. <laughs>